What are the items needed to make the robo bear is the bear? <laughs> the next thing you need is the Arduino Uno. Well, it's kind of like the motherboard, as you might say, because without it, you can't really do anything. You also the need a computer. You also the need computer a computer. computer is needed for programming. And the website you might want to be doing it on is called um, Arduino. And so, like, it's like programming. And this is... This is what it's called, like Robo Boxer, so that kind of like, you know, it's as if your bear is boxing. So then this th button called Verify, it makes sure that your com that it um shows right. Then compiling. When it's in green, that means it's right. But if, it, for example, like this. But if I'll show you a wrong example. Yes, I made it. I made it. Block it. Verify. Now, if it's red, it will tell you where it is. So, like this, it says expected, um, like, semicolon, before righty. That means it should be r before righty. So that means a, ha a semicolon must be over there. Robo Bear Hug. So that's, like, the website, Arduino. So if you do this, you find everything. So that means... So if you like this, this is a, like a printer cable or a USB cable, any of those. If you put it here, you put it in this, and then you do this. And then this is the Arduino I previously told you about. So if you do this, so then you just put that in here, and then you have to press upload. So I press upload now. And if, if it means compiling sketch, so right now we're just like reviewing the sketch to make sure it's got it right. So the green bar in the right shows like how much time is left kind of. When it's uploading, that means now upload. Now it's done uploading. So now the robot looks like this. So, oh, so the, uh, another way to do it is just by doing this. So it goes from the battery, so it works. And always, whenever you put this in the teddy bear, always put it in a Ziploc or the fluff might stick to it and do something to it. The actual Arduino circuit board itself, um, there's these wires connect to a servo motor, which looks like this. Th this is actually just a little add-on thing. But the brown wire, as you can see, it connects to this little port that is called GND. The brown wire is always supposed to connect to the port that says GND. Now the orange wire connects to this, this big thingy right here, which splits all the power evenly. And then the yellow wire connects to the ports. Ports 9 and 10 are preferable, I guess, because they're kind of close in the middle right there. And these tell which servo is which and which ones they want to power. So we need these types of wires and these both are just the same but they just have different colors. And for this you like um like here if you like you need to put um these two um like the Brace up and small hold up this thing and then you put it in and then well the boat of the wires has to go to the small hole then the red wire has to go to the down hole and I can't really do it so let's just pass that and then when for the black wire, you need to put it to, from inside to outside. And then you just need to put like a curved knee like this. And then when it's like finished, no way before you're finished, you have to put it like this. But when you're finished, it should look like this. And then, yeah. So if you're uh, if you're gonna measure uh, a nine volt battery, you're gonna want to switch it to twenty, 
and put the red on the circle on the positive and then the black on the negative and it has 8.10 volts. With these frames, you're supposed to put this through this. This is the hugging frame. Put it like this. And then put them in like this. They can be loose, but as long as they don't come off, that's okay. And then you put another one through the other side. Um, and then for these ones, these are the walking frames. And you're supposed to put one like this, one hexatronic like this, and then like this, and then another one on the other side, like this. Um, and yeah, but you can, if these were cut by lasers, so if you don't have lasers at home, then you can just make these out of Legos. These are the arms. These are the frames for the arms. And so it just fits right in. And then these are the frames for the legs. But for the um, leg frames, you kind of have to tape it in. You have, kind of have to tape it on. So um, I usually use, we usually use electric tape, but you can use duct tape too. Okay, so when you put this thing in, the machine will start. Well, well, to, for the machine to start, you have to put it, put the battery on, and then it will like it will be a, a yellow light and a green light. If there's a red light, something is happening. If the uh, yellow light is blinking so many times, then there's some problem going on. It was originally the Robo Bear Hug program, but I changed a little things around. Like I changed the delay to two instead of the 15. And I, instead of like left out, left in, right out, right in, I changed it to left out, left in, right in, right out. And the result is this. I actually have to, it's a boxing bear. Yeah, pretty cool. But yeah, he needs a lot of power to run because his delay is so short. So 